Forest met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was... The girl already died in this game. Man. Good one. The, the good girl. Ah. There you are. Yeah, Poor bro, here Ellie. I am, bro. Such a horrible death. She picked a bad time to find some bravery. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. In other words, uh, you screwed up. <laughs> you messed up, bro. Where the hell is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Yeah, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. This place is like a maze. She just turned around somewhere and... And screaming her ass off? You all heard her. Something bad has happened. You don't know that. Bullshit. You just don't want to let the shoot go, Charles. I, on the other hand, have no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this island. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. You Excuse fight. you. And exit stage left are also oh so confident and sure we gotta get out. What was that? Charlie is thinking. Which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now. This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark, come on. We find her and we leave. You're jumping to conclusions. Mark, I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. So what? I'm gonna find Aaron. Right, <sighs> here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Erin is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. We're gonna run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron too. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? The smartest person, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, genius. Where are we yeah, going to genius. look for Dumet? Douche. I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Douche. Aaron has disappeared. How can you not care about that? I can care about more right? than one thing at a time. Wow. You know, working this job has made me really understand what I gotta a, a douche is. Well, our show is educational. <sighs> Asshole. 
Uh, Mr. Morello, uh, good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you are you were very keen to hear from me. It seems I have you have a mutual interest. I spent seven years constructing the ultimate home home tourist experience by faithfully recreating the world's fair Wellington Hotel. We have not yet opened the, the public as there is a finishing touches to complete. I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for this weekend. Weekend, the experience is designed to come give a group of five gifts, so I extend the invitation for friends and family uh, of your choice. I must insist that he, the invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced. So please, only invite guests that you can trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to like to confirm your attendance and that more additional bring should be should you accept. Uh, a limousine will be picking up the young your guest at 6 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway bridge on St. Paul's Avenue, uh, West 63rd Street, Inglewood, Chicago. You should even find a spring break in the States. Indeed, the city, uh, Grantham, Dumet. Hi, Grantham. Thanks. I'll be delighted to come along. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother Francis is in the town at the minute, so at the minute, so so that I will make I will make up the five. I trust them all with my life. So, so. Oh, that's not even him. Where are we going? What's the objective? I look for do. I look for do man. Okay, let's go down here then. Go one eight one. Remember that. Remember that. It's zero one eight one. What happened here? I no idea. before you start shouting. I'm starting to freak out. We barely looked. Yeah, but she's been gone a long time now. Erin! For all we know, she and Dumet are outside having a smoke. She has asthma. She's not smoking. You know what I mean. We'll find her. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. Wait, what? What the hell? Oh. Oh, I'm about to choose that. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding.
Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. Or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. All right. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? I know, right, girl? By Grantham Dumet. Dumet? Well, so he hasn't left. Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. This guy getting me through his shed, bro. What the hell? You hear that? 
please help the fuck help me please please are you still gonna no, die no, too no. what happened are you okay what the fuck up look this is a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. What you doing? Huh. Screw the guy, bro. Get out of your way. Get out of his way, bro. Don't shoot me. Lee, bro. Step away. Oh, so <laughs> you have no other choice, bro. Oh, God. You're gonna die. You're gonna, you're gonna heal him. Shit, give me your hand. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, really? Really, bro? <laughs> you guys are killing me. You bro. hear that? Yes. What is happening? I'll find the others, bro. You better you been off in groups, bro. Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Oh. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing uh, to say. I'm sorry. She said it, bro. She it's said fine. it, bro. This isn't the time or place to. I have to tell you something. Okay. Oh, uh, what? Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. <sighs> that was a really stupid choice, Mark. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. 
deep down, I'm still hoping. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. We better go. Let's find Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Yes, find him and get the hell out, bro. Well, you guys are kind of... I don't you guys care. Are, you guys are kind of... I'm more interested in finding Aaron, which screwed. I'm sure Charles is not concerned with. What you guys are kind of screwed, bro. What? Charles? Because he hates it, obviously. Got a serial killer out there. We need to freaking hack you guys, bro. Who's going around locking these doors? Dumet is a little helper in the yellow coat. Get my way, bro. Get my way. <laughs> I gotta find some stuff. I gotta find some pictures on the wall, bro. You should look kind of desperate. I don't blame her. That. Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. Oh, that was her? That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? I kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone yeah. wanted me to find this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, think about it. If you did go, you both would have been. You both would have. You two would have been dead. You two would have been gone. I had been dead. I mean, tell me the guy wasn't. I yeah, wasn't gonna freaking try to get both you guys. I mean, so like, it is what it is, man. If fate, fate plays out, bro, you know? life plays out, man. Can we can be hard on yourself? What the hell is that? I have no idea. Ah, uh, don't go to that. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here now, Charlie. <laughs> 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 I can't hold this. Listen, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I, I don't know, but get the hell out. But I think just it's really, really bad. You told you get the hell out, bro. Uh, it's, uh, it's a movie. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be the way, right? Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. I'm the chick now. Oh, I got the bright light, bro. <gasps> uh. What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. Run, There's a lot run, of lines between eccentric and murderous. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. 
So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. No, it wasn't, Damascus. bro. Not the guy you're supposed to meet. That's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Demet. Oh, do you want to go that way? to map this in my head but i think erin's room has been completely cut off jesus charlie why is he messing with her because she oh what the fuck is that a kid oh good you hear creepy kid voice too i was worried i was finally snapping where's it coming from This way? Oh, I can't go back to that door. going just like Holmes I know Daddy? I don't want to think about it this is gonna go back down this way in here damn it oh where you at all right stop taking this sweet ass damage get out of here but you'll be walking these strolling making the kind bro we gotta Die straight from here, bro. Just strutting along, bro. You douchebag. <laughs> Obviously. But this guy, bro, he's probably just casually walking around. Not good, bro. Come here. Let's get this open. Ah. 
Put it on, bro. In <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Gizman? How you doing, bro? I'll never do it with you, We're man. A bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked right. in the kitchen. Shut up. Trapped in a hotel. Stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room. How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right, of course. That's a body. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. You stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Yes, just... ah, Amy! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Charlie? Oh, is everybody gonna die? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Aaron? Keep it down. Where could she be? She can't have just vanished. Mark, come over here. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Yeah. Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. Yeah, you hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'd like to see you toast. All of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. But he made a whole... And Jamie, the two of you do the work of a... This guy made a whole bunch of mannequins just like the people in the hotel, bro. This guy is... Oh, he's been creating a whole scene, bro. Theme of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose your shit? No. I'm still gonna have six o'clock, bro. Tonight. This is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet?
You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Yeah, you guys suck at being stealthy. What happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are of the Are you lake, fucking kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! It's fake, a prop, or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. You gotta touch it? Oh, Rika. oh it's real, it's fucking real. I told you, this what was you all too much. Wow, these people are Let's get out of here. is locked too. Uh, don't Come you make it? Is there like windows in this damn place? I want to play around. Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. Right, you can even bust a door down. You want to call this guy out? <laughs> Fine. You kidding me, bro? You can't even bust this door down. You, know, you want to call this freaking guy out, bro? He's going to wreck you, bro. Oh, not this shit. Well, don't you find it odd that it's over there like that? Don't you find it odd, bro? This way, I find it very convenient that it that was in there like that, bro. I don't think you should be walking out there like that, bro. Honestly, I'll just stay in there. I mean, it's there. It's kind of odd that it's, it's in there, right? The key. Was it find that kind of odd? Oh, 
Cell number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. No! But how can I go back? Ah, uh, this is like, um... But how can I go back? This is like, um... This is like a choice matter type of game, almost. So, basically, you have to make choices in order to keep your, uh... To keep this, uh... The characters are alive. There's, there is five all together now. I already one already died. I made a bad choice. So one a girl died. So my object in this game is to keep everybody alive, which I doubt I'm gonna do that. But uh, it's it's almost like a um, kind of like a, a, like a third person uh, horror game, where uh, your choices will dictate the the outcome of the game. How do I, uh... What? What the hell was that? Behind you, bro. Ah, uh, no. So, basically what this is, is um, this guy is a producer of a... He, he's trying to film a pilot for a TV series. And uh, the other people is his crew. So, this... Um, suppose this guy invited him to this house. Where he re, he, re, he, re, he recreated this... Um, this welfare hotel thing where where one of the... Supposedly, a little deadliest serial killer uh, uh, did all his killings. So, this rich guy... This rich guy... Uh, uh, inherit this house and he's like uh kind of renovated into like a like a like a like a attraction and apparently uh he invited his, his people to come in i think the guy that 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 talked to him was one of the victims and one of the people that was trapped in the, in the hotel so the guy tried to get him to 
He tried to get him to go to the hotel. Now their crew went to the hotel to do a film series over there. And in the process, they end up now they're trapped in this hotel. Yeah, there's a killer. So this this hotel is supposed to re recreate the uh, recreate this um this event that happened in in the past where this guy was supposed to be like a uh, what's going on? This guy was supposed to be like uh, the deadly serial killer. He said that he's gonna come back. You, you know, that, 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 that when he sent him to the death, um, he got caught. When he sent him to death, he said he was, he's gonna come back. So you guys better seal my grave with concrete, and all that. So apparently he's coming. He's coming back to kill. Get more victims, I'm guessing. <laughs> no, I'm not. We don't know who the killer is. Apparently, it's, 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 it's this uh, duet guy. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Are oh, you gonna die, bro? But apparently, he's this. Um, I'm guessing it's the duet guy. Do we want to go in here? I think he's, he's trying to leave me in here, man. Oh, here it Kind of like a murder mystery. It, I said, you play this song. This guy, this guy is, a, is a, a producer of a TV series, that, and, and and they're trapped in his house. Man, do we really want to go in there though? I feel like, I feel like there's a reason why he put that there. Oh man, choices, choices. Yeah, that door could be a trap. I'm thinking that. Cause why would he why would he have a doll over there? It seems like it wants me it wants me to go in this direction for a reason. I'm I'm not going I'm not going that way. There's no turning back. Oh man, I, what? 
This guy's gonna die. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die. Yeah, I'm in a bait. I'm in a cellar. So, I'm over. I'm also looking for some coins. I'm also looking for um, the coins I can exchange for later on. But I'm also I'm also looking for some pictures, like, like a picture frame pictures. Um, those pictures. Oh, uh, there's like a there's like a, a, a frame picture. Yeah, no, I know, right? <laughs> like finding uh, coins at the on door at doors, but um, there's like a um, there's like framed pictures out everywhere, and when you find the pictures, when you find the pictures, uh, it tells you, it gives you a premonition of, of what's gonna happen in the future, like how you're gonna die, so that it, it gives you a hint how you're gonna die so you can avoid that ha from happening. You never, you never, you never, you never played or seen uh, Dark Pictures Anthology? Well, you're like the second person that said that, too. Like, you don't know the, about the game. Play Dark Pictures Anthology? They have like a series. I have a choice. I gotta go. I gotta go back this way. So the, the first, the first series was uh, Man of Medium. Then the second was Little Hope, uh, House of Ash, and now this is the, the fourth installment. Yeah, you, you can you can see the future preventing you from dying. Cause this whole this whole game is about you trying to survive, right? And all the people around you. So you, it, there's just, there's normally five people in this game, and you gotta try to keep as much people alive. So it tells you it tells you um it it, it, it gives you hints. If you find these pictures around the area, it, it gives you a hint on on how people are gonna die, so that you can avoid that from happening. Kind of like a survival game. Kind of like a survival game. But technically, you do have to keep everybody alive, right? So one girl already died. It's kind of pissing me off. The one girl I didn't want to die died at first. <laughs> and early in the game, too, man. That's another thing, man. Do I really want to go in here? I guess I have no other choice. Oh, it's just not good, bro. Thumbnail. Thumbnail, bro. Thumbnail. Yeah, it's just sort of like a survival game. Oh, screw your cigarettes, bro. Praise the Lord. It's real. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. 
Ah, no lamps. <laughs> nope. It will be torture. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh. Actually, I don't mind. This guy's a douche. Hey, hello. I don't want him to I'm die. Here. Oh, here's the killer. Was he really gonna force the door to open? Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Hey, bro. Charlie's cut me some slack. Maybe cooked. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with, but I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Creepy. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. 
What do you think? Oh. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web, but that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. Nope. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. 